Well, hello, Hopkins and Middle School, and it's a new segment of HMS Today. I'm your host, Akshia Kaluri. Today's first segment for you is Minute with the Principal. So hello, Mr. Keller. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Minute with the Principal. The last time I joined you here, the week of March 1st, I spoke about the potential for reopening our doors to all students and that our school committee would be voting on a return date. As you should know by now, that date has been scheduled for us to do away with the hybrid model and resume an everyday model, and it's our first day back from April vacation, April 26th. Things will largely stay the same for students who wish to stay on a remote track. However, for everyone else, there are several changes that we will, once again, take on during this year that keeps throwing curveballs. Our schedule will change, and this is true for all students, remote and in-person. Our physical space will look different. Instead of the six feet of distance in classrooms that we've maintained up to this point, each of you will now be at a minimum of four feet of distance from one another. And the students who have been part of your cohort will be merging with another one. I've heard from students, teachers, and parents how nice it has been to get to know one another in small groups, and you've spent the past seven months of school in these small families. On April 26th, your cohort is growing and taking on another already established family. The last year has been filled with transitions and confusion. We're incredibly proud of the resilience and patience you've demonstrated, and we look forward to you once again rising to the occasion and welcoming a new group of students to your pack. The last physical change to mention is lunch. We will continue to eat in the Brown Gym and Cafeteria, and we will also add students to the auditorium. During lunch, we will continue to sit six feet apart. Finally, here is what will not change. The safety of all is a responsibility of each and every one of us. We must continue to do the things that have been successful to this point masks, washing hands, and most importantly, as a school community, supporting one another as we adapt one more time. Thank you very much, Mr. Keller. And coming up now is another of our series in Slang Weekly. What have you got for us today, Milkshake and Lorelai? Hey, HMS, welcome back to Slang Weekly with Milkshake and Lorelai. Our word this time is bussin', suggested by Liliana R. Our definition is, this word, is used to describe when something is good. For example, if you really like chicken and somebody cooks you a really good chicken, you could say thank you to them by saying, ah, this chicken's bussin'. Great segment. Thanks. And now, when's the last time you saw Cav TV? Answer right now. Hope you liked it. Let's listen to the latest health promo from Mr. Parker's class. This is a radio promo just so you know. This week, Nikali tells us all about cardio. Are you in need of a challenge in your exercise life? Then cardio is for you. Studies have shown exercise in general and cardiovascular exercises help with mental health. They lower blood pressure. They improve blood flow. They improve workout efficiency. They lower cholesterol. And they decrease risk of heart disease, stroke, and diabetes. If you choose on doing this, you should try aiming for doing it every day for at least an hour. But that depends on you and how far you can go without burning out. That was awesome. Thanks. And now it's time for birthdays. Happy birthday, everyone. Recently, we introduced a new segment, Show Me Your Lock Speed, and we got lots of great responses. Check them out. Wow, so many cool lock screens. We even got a teacher lock screen in there. See if you can find which one it was and keep sending in your lock screens. Now listen, it's time to visit our website to vote for the favorite of the top three finalists in our final town show segment, Art. We're only at HMS Dot today, so go vote. And while you're there, check out an online only segment, Three Favorite Places in Hopkinton. See you next week, bye.